हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर शर्मिष्ठा गांगुली कंसल्टेंट ऑब्सिटेशन एंड गायनोकोलॉजिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग इन कोलकाता एज दिस इज ए प्री टर्म अवेयरनेस मंथ लेट एस डिस्कस समथिंग रिगार्डिंग प्री टर्म बर्थ इफ आई गो बाई डेफिनेशन एनी बर्थ विच इज कम्प्लीटेड बिफोर थर्टी सेवन कम्प्लीटेड वीक्स इज प्री टर्म लेबर और प्री टर्म बर्थ एज वी नो द टर्म थर्टी सेवन वीक्स टू फोर्टी टू वीक्स इज द लिमिट ऑफ टर्म प्रेगनेंसी so if i go into the detail of this definition you can again classify it it as early term term and late term let's not go into the detail of this definition why are we so concerned regarding preterm birth because india is one of the india is having one of the highest incidence of preterm birth all over the world in fact it ranks number 1 in the list of preterm birth and there might be multiple reasons for this one of the reason might be teenage pregnancy which is highest in our country and advanced pregnancy is also in pregnancy any pregnancy below the age of 17 years or 35 years has got a high risk for preterm birth the rate of ivf pregnancies post art pregnancies are increasing a lot which is giving rise to iatrogenic prematurity very dangerous thing any procedures that happens over the cervix like conization any dilatation repeated dilatation the dnc procedures and the other cervical procedures can lead to incompetent cervix and ultimately preterm birth so there are multiple reasons for this preterm birth any infections can lead to preterm birth uh, why are we so worried because if a fetus is born before 37 completed weeks the fetus might suffer from respiratory distress syndrome might suffer very low birth weight infants they might suffer from cerebral palsy birth asphyxia hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy there are grades of hi various grades and ultimately if this doesn't happen in uh, toddler age group they can come up with neurodevelopmental de- delays like autism and uh, intellectual disability and there are several other neurodevelopmental delays that can happen if the fetus is born very preterm Leuc- periventricular leukomalacia can happen and there are definitely it's a uh, very very dangerous thing for the fetus retinopathy of prematurity which is a thing which can give rise to blindness permanent blindness in a fetus so how do we manage we should know the warning signs of preterm labor like the patient will feel constant heaviness or uh, pressure symptoms in the lower abdomen there might be a constant vaginal discharge it can be blood stain it cannot be blood stained also but yes we have to keep in mind whenever the patient comes up with these symptoms